Okay guys, we're back with another video here. Um, today we're going to be painting a 10 inch musky stalker. Um, again, this is from Drifter Tackle. I really like their blanks. Um, seem to make good quality blanks and just about the only place that you can find good quality blanks like this. Um, so, I'm not really sure what I'm going to paint this as yet today. Um, I haven't done one of these yet before. I've been thinking real hard about what I want to paint it like, and I just can't figure it out. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to paint it and let it kind of come out as I go, you know, just kind of figure it out as I go. So I guess uh, I'll get this taped up here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll tape the bill up. Uh, actually, I'm going to paint the bill too. So I'm not going to tape the bill up this time. Um, but I'll put some tape right here to hold the joint together and then we'll get started. Okay, so all I did was just take some masking tape, some blue painter's tape, and tape around there, pinch it together, just to give it a little reinforcement so it'll stay together. And I got hooked into the helping hands. So this musky stalker is actually, the blank comes pretty, pretty white compared to, you know, the regular drifter believers, um, as you can see the difference. So I'm not going to put a base coat on this, I don't think I really need to. I'm thinking I'm going to do this in kind of like a ice frost color paint scheme. Um, you know, kind of like a silvery light blue color paint scheme. I'm not really sure, it's going to develop as I go. So let's get started, I'm going to spray it with like a metallic -y silver color first. Actually I take that back, I'm going to spray it with pearl white first. Okay, so I went over that real quick with the pearl white, and now I'm going to move on to a silverish color. Actually, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do this fluorescent blue first. So I'll put some of that fluorescent blue in there, and I'm just going to spray the back and the side of this. Okay, so I got the sides sprayed and now I'm going to heat set it. Okay, so now we're going to go over it with a pearlized silver. And we're just going to do the back and a fade down the side with it. Okay, so there's what it looks like after the silver. And we're gonna heat set that again. Okay, so now we're gonna take some transparent, no, oh, that's dark brown. So I got some transparent medium gray here that I'm gonna spray over the back again. And I'm just gonna go right down the middle and over the back. Okay, so now I'm going to take some detailed black magenta and load in the cartridge. And then I'm just going to take this piece of lace with uh, this uh, very small fine pattern here. There's some dots on it. And I'm just going to go over that kind of freehand with the detailed black magenta. And very carefully pull that off without getting on anything else. And I'm actually going to cut this lace so that only that part is on the edge. And then I'm just going to come through and randomly make some random dot patterns. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. So while we are still have the detail black magenta in the cartridge, we are going to come and we're going to get our stencil for a gill and we're going to come along the side here and we're going to outline the black for the gill. Ok 
Okay, there's the black for that one. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side now. Okay, so we got the gill, black on the gills done. I nicked that up a little bit, but that's all right. It'll, it'll get covered up here in a second. I'm gonna clean the brush and then I'm gonna come over the back and I'm gonna have a stencil for some perch lines and I'm gonna come over with some pearl blue to make them really pop. So I got some ultramarine blue in the chamber and I'm just gonna come over with some perch patterns with a stencil, kinda line them up and then just spray them. And we're gonna make it kinda look like a, it's like a blue perch pattern color there on the back. Okay, so I sprayed the ultramarine blue on the back. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna spray the head while I'm doing this. Cause I want the head to be blue as well. Okay, so now we're gonna heat set this blue cause we're gonna go back over it with the pearl blue. Okay, so now we're gonna take the pearl blue and we're gonna put that in Carthage and then we're just gonna go back over as close as we can with this stencil again on the same pattern. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so there's the pearl blue. That's gonna dry on there. Now we're gonna take the detail black magenta again and we're gonna go over the face and over the back, leaving some of the pearl blue in the chamber to mix with it. So now I'm just gonna rinse out my brush and then I'm gonna move on to doing some accents right around the gill plate. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some opaque white and I'm gonna accent the gill plate right around here. So I'm gonna take this stencil, same stencil I used before, and I'm going to very carefully because I don't want to nick it now. Very carefully put it up next to it and go over it in white. So we got the white on the gills, accent them a little bit. And then we're just gonna come, and I think I'm gonna accent around the eye too, honestly. So we're gonna do right around the eye, and then we'll do underneath the bill. And then I think I'm gonna come over the belly with opaque white as well. Yeah. I'm gonna come over the belly with some opaque white to finish it off. So, 
Now I'm gonna end it by coming over and just I'm just gonna touch out the back there where I had a little bit of overspray. And then it'll be all set. I just gotta put my signature and eyes on it. Okay, just need a little bit of that. And then I'm just gonna come in lightly. And then I'm just going to fill this in a little bit to cover up some of this overspray white. Okay, so that's done. Now we can clean our brush and I'll write my initials on the bottom or I'll write my last name on the bottom and then put the eyes on it. And then we're all set, we're all done. Okay, so we're gonna take some of this opaque black and we're just gonna put a little bit on here. And it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna do it on the bottom. We're just gonna take some of this opaque black, load it on the Pointed popsicle stick, and then we're just gonna put our last name Hayes on there. All right, there's the name, and we're gonna put some eyes on it. So these musky stalkers come with uh, wow. Let me make sure I get my hands cleaned off before I do this. So, anyways, what I was saying was these musky stalkers come with eyes fit for the right size already. So I'm just gonna use those. So I'll just use some super glue like normal. Put a little super glue on it. Okay, and the eyes are on, so that's the finished lure. Um, we'll get some clear coat on it. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of blue sparkle in there, just to make it pop. And I'll let you guys see it once it's done. Okay guys, so we're back with the finished product here. Um, this is after it's been clear coated once. Still needs at least one more layer of clear coat. You can see it's not fully covered in places. Um, possibly two more layers of clear coat. Um, but yeah, I think overall, 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 it turned out pretty well. Um, I wish I would have taken probably a little less glitter in the epoxy, but it is what it is at this point. Um, I still think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I really like the color scheme, paint scheme. Uh, gills really made really popped after that epoxy came on and I like the I like the little bit of pearlized blue underneath um, so yeah um, I'll be looking forward to using this next fall um, still really excited getting really excited for getting ready for the next musky season coming up and I'll put some hooks on this and some split rings and I'll get ready and get ready to run so thanks for watching as always make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next one Thank you.